Hey y'all, welcome back to the B Channel Podcast, where my objective is to bless, edify, and encourage others to live their best lives. Before we dive into today's episode, be sure to follow and or subscribe so you don't miss out on any future episodes and share this episode with a friend if it blesses you. You can also catch up with me at B Channel 27 on all my socials. I will include my link in the description. Now, without further ado, let's get into today's book. It is The Garden Within, where the war with your emotions ends and your most powerful life begins by Dr. Anita Phillips. Just to tell you a little bit about her, she is a trauma therapist, life coach, and minister widely recognized as a thought leader at the intersection of mental health, faith, and culture. Dr. Anita serves as an associate professor in Dr. John Townsend's Institute for Leadership and Counseling at Concordia University. She holds degrees from the University of Maryland and the Regent University School of Psychology and Counseling and completed a postdoctoral fellowship at the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. Dr. Anita's faith and mental health advocacy campaigns have reached hundreds of thousands, and her podcast, In the Light with Dr. Anita, is transforming lives around the globe. From the Potter's House to Lakewood Church, her dynamic voice has been heard on some of the largest Christian platforms in the country. As a media personality, she has been trusted by the likes of Tamron Hall, The Talk, Oprah, Reese Witherspoon, Red Table Talk, and The Today Show. In her downtime, Dr. Anita adores time with her family and friends, a good pint of ice cream, and sitting by the ocean. So that's just a little, a little tidbit about Dr. Anita. Now, let's get into who should read this book. If you are someone who loves God, but you struggle to manage and understand your emotions, this is definitely the book for you. And let me tell you why. So last month, I reviewed Woman Evolve. So if y'all haven't listened to that yet, make sure that you go back and listen to that podcast as well. It's called Are You Ready to Evolve? But this book, it seems to go hand in hand with that book. And it picks up where Woman Evolve left off and goes even deeper. Once we identify the ways in which we need to evolve, then we have to begin to cultivate the garden within. Now, y'all, I have never read a book with a foreword and an intro. This good, but I enjoyed it. Now... This is the funny part. Sarah Jakes Roberts actually wrote the foreword. So I'm like, yes, this is so in sync, right? And Anita did a great job with the intro as well. Now, this is a book that has three parts to it and there are 15 chapters. Now, they are not like very lengthy, but the weight of what this woman is saying in these chapters it necessitates that you maybe give it about two days and just let things digest and not try to read the whole chapter in one day every time you know but they are just so helpful everything that she's saying is so helpful and i love how she highlights how you need faith, psychology, and biology. They all intersect. And your heart, your mind, your body, and your spirit are all interconnected. There is no way of separating them and having a thriving life. Um, She also does a great job of illustrating how having emotions is actually a part of being like Jesus. Now, if you will take a trip with me over to the good book and read Hebrews chapter 4 verse 15 it tells us this high priest of ours understands our weaknesses for he faced all of the same testings we do yet he did not sin and I find that remarkable that the God of the universe stepped down out of heaven and put on flesh so he can feel the things that we feel and empathize with us and 
another beautiful thing that she mentioned was how many co complexities that there are and how many nuances there are to human emotion. For instance, when you think about fear, do you think of insecurity or anxiety as being a part of that emotion? Well, according to her, they are. So it's just so deep to really think about and sink your teeth into this information. It's life changing, y'all, the things that she's saying. Um, and I love how she talks about embracing your feelings and ending the war over them. Now, it takes work, y'all, to renew your mind, but it's worth it. You are worth it. And please understand that your feelings do not define your identity. You may feel fearful, but you are not fear, okay? Um, and I love how she talks about your emotional well-being affecting your spiritual life. And we can see that so beautifully when we read the Psalms where David just explored how he was feeling. He did not hold back when he was sad, when he was in anguish, whatever he was feeling, he told God. And that's something that we have to do as well. Take those feelings to God. And as a trauma therapist, as I mentioned earlier, she did a wonderful job of talking about how we have to heal from it and giving strategies about um, healing from trauma. And I think that it's so, so important that we learn to ask the right questions and be patient with each other in relationships um, and listen to each other so that we can have a thriving relationship because patience I'm learning is so essential in the recipe of good relationships and I love how she also highlighted that the way that we view relationships can affect how we view God and that thing was mind-blowing to think that how you relate to your parents or how you relate to your friends and other human beings can um cause you to project those ideas onto how you do your relationship with God that thing whoo man it really is something that you gotta take a step back and really pay attention and look at and see how are your feelings about people affecting your feelings about God and what I actually took the time to do, y'all, was reflect and journal in chapters three and five. She gave you some beautiful opportunities there, but there are some great questions and exercises throughout the entire book, y'all, that are helpful, as I said earlier. Um, and I love how she persuaded me to reconsider the meaning of purpose. And she like really highlighted what it means to live powerfully. And she opened my eyes even more to how all of scripture is so deeply connected. And how, you know, God's word has an answer for everything. Everything. There is not anything that you can think of that you can't find something that can help you in the word of God so that was something beautiful to be reminded of and last but not least God loves you despite your imperfections and struggles he is not the type of God that's going to hold back love because you're not perfect you know because we are not going to reach perfection until we get to heaven we're not going to find it on this side and God knows that and he's more interested in the progress in the effort you putting in the the work and being disciplined enough and loving him enough and loving yourself enough to become a better person but he loves you in the process. He loves you during the journey. He doesn't wait to the end until you arrived at some arbitrary moment and decide to love you. And that was yet another beautiful reminder that she gave us in this book. Now, I know you're probably wondering, where can I get my hands on this book? 
go to Amazon, y'all, and everywhere else that books are sold and get yourself a copy and make sure that you read it not once, but maybe read it twice, read it three, four times. Maybe I would definitely recommend this as something to read more than once because there's so much wisdom in it. Dr. Anita did a great job um, with this book and it was so helpful. Now, I know y'all want to know where to catch up with Dr. Anita. So you can find her at anitaphillips.com and you can follow her on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter at Dr. Anita Phillips. And listen to her, as I mentioned earlier, on her podcast, In the Light. So I hope that this podcast has blessed you. Be sure to give us a like, give us a rating and a review on Spotify or Apple if you're listening there and help other people discover this podcast. Also, if you have any feedback, you would like to be a guest, you would like me to be a guest on your podcast, or if you would like to recommend books or topics, please DM me at Instagram at B channel 27 y'all and with that being said thank y'all so much for tuning in and listening all of the information that I mentioned will be in the description below and until next time peace and blessings y'all